Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Never Winter Nights. This is Girl RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today here in the last room of Meldanen's Tower that we have not explored. Yes, uh, we have done everything that we need to do here in Meldanen's Tower, except to talk to the Black Lake Dryad over there. And uh, she wants free. I'm not really sure what uh, what's gonna happen because I apparently need her blood or something like that uh, for the cure to the plague. So we'll see how, if I need to kill her or not. But in between episodes, I came here and I um, and I opened these these chests because the, this guy this this one in particular was strapped and killed me instantly. Uh, so I couldn't even uh, try to to break it open. And uh, yeah, so I went back and uh, and got. Tommy, to, uh, to help me out with this situation over here. So let's see what we, what we have. We have a uh, Ring of Jade, that's to be sold, I assume. And uh, Floor Spar, also to be sold. Over there, of course. What do we have over here? Ooh, we have a Battle Axe that goes right there. And uh, we're actually quite heavy, heavily burdened. We got Lesser Restoration. Oh, by the way, somebody told me in the comments that now I can cast level 1 spells. Ooh, also, I, can I identify that? Not really. Okay, let's put it over there. So I can cast level 1 spells. How do I do that? Let's see. Uh, hmm. Cast spell. Uh, ranger. Level... Oh, wait a minute. Cantrips? Level 1. Oh. Uh, I don't have them here. Doesn't mean that... Doesn't doesn't mean they're not here. It just means that I can't find them. Uh, so we got ranger. And mount... Nope, that's not it. Uh, special abilities. Cast defensive mode? No. Yeah, can't cast level one spells. Uh, yeah, but those are, those will those will come. Unless wait a minute, unless they he was mentioning something else. Maybe these? Hmm. Or can I learn these? How do I do that? So I use the sleep, but I can't learn these from here. It's not like yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, let's have a chat with the dryad over here. Did I use this? I think I should have. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what she has to say about this ordeal. You have a fearsome countenance. Have you come to free this servant of the oak? I beg you not to harm me. Be gone, demon. What kind of voice is that? That's not... Yeah, that's 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 some voice right there. Um, uh, so the sorcerer has kept you pr prisoner here. Sadly, yes. This servant wandered the strange city after fleeing the horrid battle. I did not know where to turn and longed for so, long so for my oak. Mal Meldanen found me and brought me to this place. He meant to to hurt me and make a cure for a great sickness. I did not. I did only what I could and charmed him. It was almost h worse, however, to bear his obsession. Please release me, Elven friend. I have been away from my oak far too long. Hmm. Was it really that that old? Did he smell? Was it really that ugly? Hmm. Was it? Anyway. So how have you survived away from your oak this long? A great wizard of the humans came to my grove and said that part of my essence would aid in curing a great sickness amongst my people. Amongst his people, not... yeah. He did not know what part of my essence, however, and asked me to travel to this strange place so it could be discovered. I have no wish to, to, uh, for so many to perish, so I agreed, and the wizard placed a spell upon me that bid me to live, or bid me to leave. Oh, but I miss my oak so, elven friend. Will you not release me? Uh, how would I, how would you, um, I ask uh, that you first come to Aribeth and help cure the plague. You need not worry. All you have to do is take a lock of my hair to your Lady Aribeth. I give it gladly, Elven One. I had hoped I, I could do more, but I am very weak now. It saddens me to see the sickness in your people, but now that you have my hair, I am no longer needed here. May this servant of the oak be allowed to leave? I miss my tree so. Um... Mm. Would you be able to find a uh, find your way home on your own? Yes, yes, I believe I could. I need only reach the nearest tree. The wizard who came to my grove said any tree would return me home. Then, uh, perhaps you should accompany me. It would be safer that way. I would surely only slow slow you down, Elven One. Though you are most kind, I shall never forget you. If we meet again, I hope to reward you properly. Farewell. Oh, so I, I thought I thought I was gonna protect her, but yeah, whatever. She, oh uh, well, yeah, she will only slow me down. She can't even get past. Hmm. Well, I guess if she doesn't run, then she doesn't run. Although, where's she going? That's the tree right there. Uh huh. And off she goes. I think. Let's see if the quest gets uh, 
activated or updated. Not really. Not really. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so what do we need to do now? Well, we need to get out of here for starters, and it's going to be something I'm going to do off camera. But uh, more importantly, I need to check on all the quests that we have. So tension's rising. It turns out that Maldanen, well, just as missing, so that's, oh yeah, we need to go back to the main square. Let's go. I wonder if this guy says anything now that I killed this master. Well met! Huh. <laughs> um. Yeah. I just thought you should know your master is dead. Oh, what's good job for Gromnir? He's too bad now. Is it? Well, I suppose. At least he didn't kill me. And he didn't have to die. So that's fantastic. Can we leave through here? This is the main... Oh, we have never been out here. I don't think I can actually leave through here. Hopefully I... Oh, there's things. There are things in here. Please let me open them. Of course it's locked. And of course it's locked. Well, let's yeah. see what I can do here. In weapon and effective. Don't even bother then. Get out, Adapa. Takasi. Oh, excuse Adipa. my Elvin. Oh my God. Let's try and open my this. attack has no effect. Well, doesn't open. Doesn't work. If you guys let me. <laughs> it is so annoying. Oh my God. There we go. Okay. So that doesn't open. I think if I open this gate, I might as well come back here and get some stuff. But I doubt that thing has anything. If this gate opens, of course, it does. Hey, Orion. I greet you. Uh, no, he just wants to run away from me. That's okay. That's all right. So what we came here for? Well, um, talk to Millie. Maybe she's gonna know something. Maybe she's gonna like what I have to tell Good her. Business to you. Um, no, not really. Not really. So I'll see you later, Millie. I'll see you later. We need to talk to Formosa though. That's kind of an important uh, aspect. That I think is the quest that we had on us. Is there anybody around here that I want to talk to? Uh, not really. Mm, the game is very sluggish. For me, I have no idea why. I just, I don't understand why. It should be really, really light. But nope. Okay, let's have a chat with Formosa and uh, see what she has to say. Let's save the game before that happens. So oh. you have returned? Yes. Do you have news? Uh, yes, indeed. I, uh, I have Meldanen's silver tooth taken from his head. The tooth, yes. That looks to be the one. I understand Meldanen took power from it and would not part with it willingly. So he is indeed dead. I am relieved. Far more important is the key, however. Do you have it? Um, uh, Yes, I do. Allow me to see it. Yes, this is the one. I can detect the counter spells on it. Bless you, sir. The city will be thanking the gods for you in the days to come. You have retrieved the key and slain the monster in this home. In his home. I am in debt to you, sir. I hope what little reward I have to offer will suffice. As promised, I will give you the necklace and 500 gold pieces. I know it isn't much, but I hope you can take satisfaction in knowing you have helped so many. Um... <laughs> uh, let's see... Yeah, let's go... Eh, let's go with this. I was glad to help, but I don't want a reward for killing someone. You are very generous. Take the necklace regardless. I will not see you completely unrewarded, despite what you say. You have helped far more than I thought anyone would. Now I must go and collect others to enter the warehouse. Farewell, my lord. And off she goes to get her um, her food, I guess. And that's that collected. Let's uh, see what kind of amulet we get. Periapt of Wisdom, plus one. Do I have any amulets on me? Yes, I do. I have one amulet called Gauntlet of... Oh, I shouldn't have it over there. Should have it like this. And a uh, lock of dried hair. That's going to be quite important. And there we go. That's another quest done. Let's see if we have anything else. Uh, not over here, no. We could talk. Let's have a chat here with Lino. Hey there, dear. What can I do for you? Uh, just want to talk to you for a while. I love chatting with you, but don't you think we should focus on your mission right now? Um, d just uh, tell me your story. Tell me about your story. I appreciate that you have waited patiently to hear more about my story. I think we have gone through enough together to warrant deeper level of trust. I just ask that you don't make fun of me, since this was such a dark blot on my name. Many years ago, a cleric performed a service for the Temple of Evereska by uncovering a drow plot to destroy the city. Sehainin Moonbow came and presented the priest with a silver goblet. Uh, you lost a gift from a goddess? It wasn't my fault! Well, he was, but I... Oh, he was terrible. 
Other pri the other priests were frightfully mad. Only the head priest was willing to concede that it would get, it could have happened to someone else, but of course it didn't. It happened to the person that broke the head off the golden statue of Corellian. I, I didn't know what to do, so I stayed up all night praying to Sehanin uh, to guide the path or guide my path. The goddess heard my prayers, and just before the first ray of light broke the dark, I was granted a vision. Oh, what happened in the vision? I saw myself leaving Avaraska and going on a long journey. At the end of the journey, I returned with the, callus, the chalice. The trip itself was a blur. I had no idea where to go other than north and west. Oh, when I told the priests of my vision that would take me far away from them, they held a cheerful celebration in honor of my sacred quest. It was the first moment in my life when I felt I truly belonged. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm sure they were very happy for you. But now they will never welcome me back to their city. My quest has failed. Well, surely it has not failed. You will find it someday. But we can find it, Lino, if we work together. No, you do not understand. No one will ever understand. I shall be an outcast for life. Please, Giladel, I should not have said so much. We will have talk... Uh, we will talk about more about this later, but not now. Hmm. I wonder if that later is right now. I mean, we have been playing hey the game there, for a while. Dear. What uh, can I do for you? Uh, talk for a while? Uh-huh. Tell me about your story. I guess I should be glad to share my daunting task with a friend. If I cannot turn to a fellow elf to help me, then who would I turn? Who could I turn to? I'm sorry I was so overcome with despair, but you see, I found the silver chalice of Moonbow once already. I found it in a small town named Lork. But then, oh, Giladel, I lost it again. <laughs> Why did... How in the name of all that is holy did you lose it again? Well, as I said, I found the chalice in the merchant town of Lork. The thief, a, half a halfling, tried to sell it to a zen, uh, a zen merchant. But when the halfling tried to charge him 500 gold, the Zen claimed the religious artifact as tribute of, to Bane. The halfling thief protested, but the mayor of town in, is a Zen as well. Next thing the halfling knew, he was arrested for the murder of an old woman who had spit in the face of a Zen soldier the day before. Obviously, he never committed the crime. It never fails to shock me when people are capable of such injustice. Uh, how did you find all of, all of this out? I found out what had happened when I showed up in the town and saw a mob of people about to hang him. Everyone was laughing and telling the story to anyone who would listen. They actually thought that, that such injustice was funny. I, even the bloody merchant was there for the hanging and he was drinking from the sacred chalice. Uh, yeah, that's a zen for you. Yeah, so so I've discovered. They already had the rope around the halfling's neck when I heard the whole story. I didn't know what to do, but I had to stop it. I ran forward into the crowd yelling for them to stop, but I I, I, I tripped and fell in the mud. I looked up and saw the face of a kindly grandmother. I reached for her hand and she kicked me right in the teeth. That's horrible. The mob turned into a giant brawl with fists and laughter flying everywhere. I crawled out of the crowd and fled town, weeping as I ran. I made it to the forest and collapsed in the bushes off the road. As I lay there, weeping, I, I heard a twig snap. I spun around and standing there behind me was the halfling. He winked at me and toasted me with the chalice, which he held in his hand. I, I cried out that I had to have it back, but he just laughed and disappeared into the wood. I never saw him again. Well, don't worry, Lino. I'll help you find the chalice. Well, thank you, sweet, sweet Giladel. That is a kind answer from a good friend. I know I shall probably never find the chalice again, Giladel, but I shall not give up. I must return it to my people to restore my honor. So, uh, the chalice that I have here with me, is it the one you were talking about? The Silver Chalice of Moonbow? Thank you, Giladel. I can never repay you for this gift of true friendship. There is something something I have that might be of use to you. This is the Pendant of the Elf. It has the power to enhance some of your abilities with those of the Elven ancestors. You have proven this day that you are a true friend to the Elven people. This Pendant only works for those who prove such worthiness. I am proud to be able to call you my friend, Giladel. Thank you, Lino. Because of you, Giladel, I can return the chalice to where it belongs. I shall protect it with my life until the opportunity arises for me to visit Evereska. Until that time, I shall remain by your side and help you achieve your goals. Thank you again, my dear friend. And we have completed our quest. Look at that. I actually didn't think we were going to do that right at the beginning. But uh, we did. So we have the Pendant of the Elf. And I have the Periapt of Wisdom. This thing is plus dexterity. Not too bad. What is this for? Plus wisdom. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, much better that way. And actually, this is going to be sold. So that goes over there. And uh, let's go. Let's go back home. Actually, yep. Yeah, let's just... I mean, we don't have the quest. So, uh... 
So we don't have any more quests, I mean. Black Lake, Samuel's rescue, that's right. Samuel, a militia soldier previously reported as missing in action, was recently freed from his captivity in Maldanen's estate in the Black Lake district. Um, and that's what I did. Uh, grateful for his rescue, uh, I need to go back to Board Laid Bear. And I think that's quite close to where we are right now. Uh, from Bottom Estate, exit, that is the Board uh, the board Laid Bear over there. And we need to go over there because we need to tell the... Uh, Commander or somebody that we rescued the, the poor guy. Yeah, let's do that uh, Over here. We have nobody. Is this the board laid bear? Nope. That's just the temple. Did we get in there? Hmm Let's go I mean looks like we have The doors are open and all that sort of stuff Huh Excuse me may I? Yeah, I mean, the the door to the pantry is open. Not pantry, what what is this? The, whatever, the, yeah, the door is open, so it's gotta, it's gotta be larder. I, larder? Larder? I, yeah. Uh, so I've gotta have been in there, for sure. Uh, okay, so let's go to the, uh, board laid bare, and that is gonna conclude, and then I can just teleport back home, and it's easy as pie, like that. Uh, where is this guy? There's the guy, threw in over there. Mm-hmm, let me save the game before I talk to him. What do you want? Samuel's already made it back to the barracks. I was quite surprised to hear what had happened to him. I didn't think the sorcerer had the gal in him. Uh, here's 300 gold pieces reward. It's it's a bit more than the guard can afford right now, obviously, but you've certainly earned it. Samuel is a close friend of uh, of all, uh, after all. Oh, that's... No, there's no need for the reward. I, I was happy to do it. Oh, you are far too kind, my lord. I shall make sure the guard knows of your service. Uh, thank you once again. You've helped far more than I would have hoped for. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's still much for me to deal with today. Okay, I'll see you later. And uh, I gained uh, three points towards good. And actually, I don't think I need... No, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, I don't think I need to go more towards good because I'm already as good as can be, I think. Let's see. Yeah, yeah I am. I just need to get a little bit more lawful to uh, just conform to our uh, ideal character over here. The, the pansy... Pansy Giladel goody two shoes. Uh, so, Stone of Recall, here we go. And let's talk finally to uh, Aribeth. That's right, I was forgetting her name. And uh, now that we have... No, wait a minute! We don't have all the reagents! One of the bards here in Castle... I know, I know. I believe I heard Lord Nasher himself humming yes. the tune in the hot... Well done! I knew you wouldn't let me down. Uh, okay, so we're gonna explain it about the Dryad in the Black Lake District. It is shameful the way such a gentle creature is mishandled. The plague does enough harm without us adding to it. Where others have found only failure, you have discovered shining success. Neverwinter is in your debt. Battling the plague has drained the coffers of Neverwinter. I regret I cannot offer you more than 500 gold pieces for all you have accomplished. Thank you, Aribeth. You are most generous. Is there something else you need? Um, yes. Of course. I will do my best to help with whatever you need to know. I actually... Do I really... Mm. Farewell. I wanted the temple you services. Are a, we are all eagerly a Thank you, thank you. Okay, so let, now let's sell our things. Uh, okay, okay, I do it like this. We have a great sword plus one that I don't need. And a few other things up here that really... Okay, this needs to be identified. Let's identify. It's a sash of shimmering. Okay, let's put it over there. Uh, sell that. Sell that. Glittering necklace goes away. Good stuff. So that thing. I have a sash of shimmering. Yeah, I do. So that one is quite expensive. So it's a good thing to identify that. So just sell it. Over here, the Periapt of Wisdom is also pretty expensive. Uh, the green stone, the Ring of Jade. Is that a... Nope, that's not a special ring, so it doesn't matter. Uh, Gilded Urn. Cannot sell these. Dementites cannot sell those either. Okay, good stuff. Uh, what else do we have here? Can put that in there. And that in there. Okay. So where did it... Okay. Nice. Okay. And as for this, I need to go... Yeah, I actually need to go to the other the other place. That's my scimitar. Yes, that is. Uh, okay, nothing else really matters for right now. Okay, good stuff. And now, well, it does matter. It's this thing over here. No, open up, open up. Yeah, okay. So we have a cloak. Let's see if I can ad identify this thing. It is uh, the cloak of elven kind. Plus 10 to hide. That's okay. It's, it's not really awesome. It's protection versus evil. Hmm. Hmm. I don't really need the the hide to be honest. I'm good enough 
uh, like that, so it doesn't matter. What else do I have? We have a, uh, an amulet over here that needs to be identified, and that is saving throw of will, plus one. So that's nice, but let's still sell it. It is. It goes for 156. And over here we have the m a magic staff, and a staff of Meldanon. 1d6, that's 10% uh, critical chance. Uh, bludgeoning damage, it uh, has uh, bonus feat spell penetration, and it's actually pretty good for spellcasters. But uh, we are not a spellcaster. Let's see if she has anything new for me. I doubt it that she has new stuff, but might as well give it a look. You have a spear, and uh, that's that. We don't ha really have anything. Okay, so with that, let's... Uh, was that? No, there was nobody that was trying to... Um... We're missing something. Am I missing something? Hmm. Uh, I was trying to remember... You guys remember we have a quest to... Um, about the tomb of no Lord Never? Uh, yeah, we... I thought we were gonna find something about it in the uh, Black Lake District. But apparently that's not the case. So, uh, that's that, I guess. So, from here, where do we go? Uh, let's go to the docks. The docks are over there, so let's just go through there. Yeah, because that's, that's how you do it. Uh, death is the price we pay for our arrogance, says this doomsayer. Uh, yeah, sure. I, yeah. Come on, Adapa. Let's have a chat with Jerome over Good here. Good day. You one of those damn thieves? I wouldn't put it past them to come out here and start the same crap as the city core that put me out of the docks. Uh, see, I just want to go back to work in the docks district. There's not much to do under the quarantine, but at least I'd be away from the stink of the corpse fires. Can't do squat with all the thieves everywhere. I don't know what's got into them, but it's made the docks district unlivable. I can't go home for all the muggers. Really? Is there anything I can do? I ain't looking for charity. I just want to be able to get back into the docks. Someone needs to get back in there and raise hell. I swear if my back was in better shape, I'd be in there, but I can't take on any uh, an army of thieves. No way. Okay. Uh, can I ask you some questions? Uh, I don't know anything you can't learn from better talkers than me. I ain't had time to see anything except them thieves nipping at my heels as I ran. I just want to get back to work, but until someone kicks some heads in, I, the do uh, docks is district, I'm stuck out here. Okay, that's that's good. Bye then. Guess I'll just have to wait here. Nothing I can do. Why doesn't someone stand, step up and be a damn hero? Actually, that's what I'm trying to do. We also have a guard, so he's alone. Unless Eravian over there and Cabbage. We talked to Cabbage already, but to Eravian? Well met. Get back, fool, or risk catching the Wailing Death yourself. Okay. Can I, uh, is this... Yeah, it's just, it's not actually a thing to be burned. It's just a, uh, a container. What about you, Mr. Guard? I greet you. Harumph! I thought we were uh, keeping ragamuffins like you on the other side of this gate. The Wailing's taking its stall out there, making it a dangerous place. Well... You better show me quarantine clearance if you think you're going back, Lady Arabeth's orders. I don't care much uh, how much it stinks here to f f by the fires. You need proper clearance. Yeah, uh, actually, um, Lady Arabeth has assigned me to temporary militia duty. Aye, that was a word she'd be hiring on adventurers to help fill the ranks. What can I do for you then? Uh, could you answer a few questions about the docks district? I'll answer one of your questions if it doesn't take long. So, um... Is there any way I can help out in there? Well, you can report in uh, to the gate guard on the other side. Maybe you'll know something about the, um... I probably shouldn't be talking about that. Look, I'm here to help, remember? I suppose you're right. Apparently there's been increasing activity from the Blood Sailors, a local pirate's guild. Uh, what they're up to is anybody's guess, but it's something big. If you want to know more about it, I suggest you talk to the dockside gate guard. He'll have the latest information, whatever it may be. Uh, okay, how bad is it in there? That's pretty bad. I certainly wouldn't go any un unequipped. I'd had any valuables if you w if I were you too. In fact, I, I'd safe to s it's safe to say that the criminals have all but taken over the entire district. We guards do our best, but we just don't have the numbers. Is there something else you wanted? Uh, yeah. Would you mind answering some more general questions for me? Um. So, uh, can he? What? What about the water Davian creatures? Hi, my friend Haggard was with the night watch in the academy when the caravan bringing the caravans, uh, the creatures came in. We found him uh, with his throat slit after the attack amidst the empty cages. We had, uh, he had the symbol of Elm, god of all of us guard folk, gripped tightly in his frozen palm. We buried him with that, uh, with it that way, to honor him. Is there anyone else who might know more about the, uh, what are they creatures? Well, the person who knows the most about it is probably Lady Arabeth herself. Yeah, I know about that. Um, okay, I'll see you later. I'll be keeping my eye on you. 
will you? Because I will just be going through this gate, and you'll never see me again. Well, you will, on my way back, I suppose. I mean, I need to talk to that guy and tell him that he has his... Will, he will have his house back. So we have... A barricade. Citizen, identify yourself. Okay, I actually want to clear out the perimeter because you guys are terrible. We got a... Neighbor? Oh, we got spellcasters. Nope, that's our spellcasters. Ruffians. Only or ruffians, or whatever. They're all dying. These are muggers. Ruffians. Ooh, taking headshots. It's going well. It's going well. The guy just took four damage. It's not that great, but I just took five. Down he goes. Adapa is a badass. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. And do we do have a guy called Neighbor. It's it's weird. Isn't it? It can't be just me. Maybe it can. Smuggler's coin. Oh. And we got thief stool as well. And a little bit of gold. So we got smuggler's coin. What the hell is that for? And we got poison bolts. I suppose these are actually expensive. So I'm going to put that in there. Uh, the smuggler coin, I maybe it's not going to be for sale. Let's let's remove it from here. It might be a thing for, for, for a quest or something. What do we have here? Ale. Is that heavy? Not really, but put it in there. It's gonna be sold anyway. So what do we have? Let's look at get that away. Look at the map. Mm-hmm. Nobody around. Seems oh I remember this place. Yeah. The sea. So this thing needs to be burned. I shall do that. Like so. There we go. Doing good deeds, gaining a little bit of experience, and get back over there because we're gonna talk to the boss of of the guard. Let's go in through here. Oh, there's Morden. Who apparently is just friendly and staying over there and over there we have an helmite okay so I I don't think the thieves have taken over the entire district things look pretty good actually a glittering necklace that goes over there and this goes over here okay so let's not mess around with that guard over there let's just go over here see if we can t ask these guys what's going on see if they tell the tell us good news I still need to go back to the guard but it doesn't matter let's put it over there uh hello hello the master is very attached to his things. What? Who's? I greet you. Ah, oh, yes. Hello there. I am a uh, Hamel Masterson. This is my wife Agnes, and uh, our mas man servant Morden. I wonder by chance if you've seen a man named Kalik. He has an amulet of mine, and he um seems to have forgotten us. Forgotten? I told you that he was not to be trusted. I am quite aware of what you said, my dear. Now, if you'll just let me speak to these nice men. Uh, so, what do you know about the docks? Oh, very little, I'm afraid. I came here, well, I came here hoping to circumvent the quarantine on Neverwinter. I arranged it for transport that would leave from uh, the docks. I traded a Nerloom amulet to a man who swore he was honest. Hamel, I can swear that you are competent, but that doesn't make it true. Well, yeah. So, who was this man? A stray, a strapping gent. Kalik was his name. He said he was soon to come into his own ship. Probably stealing that as well. Honestly, Hamel, you can be such an idiot. My dear, he seemed honest enough. He can, he may yet return. It has only been a, a day. And you pay with an amulet. Well, the amulet was a valuable heirloom. I, it was a, was a high price. But, uh, but for the sake of my loved ones, I decided not to quibble. I told you it was a ruse. This Kalik made a vague promises, and you handed over everything. Well, nothing is proven, dear. Still, I would like to. I would like assurances. It was a valuable amulet, after all, passed down by my forefathers. Hmm. So, I suppose I could look into it for you. I would be most appreciative if you could. Mister Kalik does appear to be taking an inordinate amount of time. He said he would be. Uh, he would ready a ship, but when he left, he went inland. He, he did drop some sort of auction notice. Here, you can have it. I'm not familiar with the area, so it does me no good anyway. Please return my amulet if you find it. It will have the Masterson crest. I have given up on breaking quarantine. I just want back what's mine. Just want an amulet, huh? Yeah. Hello. Hello as well. Okay, let's see what about this new note that we found. An auction announcement. This document details an auction to be held at the City Tavern. It's actually the name of the tavern. It does, ne uh, does not reveal what goods will be on sale or for sale, though it does seem to suggest that anyone interested in surviving the plague should attend. It also mentions that anyone bringing this to the attention of the City Guard will be dealt with in a manner that suggests finality. And that's a quote. So how, how a manner that's... how What? what uh, hmm. Whatever. Oh, we know all the ma 
We didn't know the wall map before. <laughs> what is wrong with that? What was... What happened? How did I... Did I... I don't know. Anyway, we're out of time for the day, so uh, I'm gonna make my way back to that captain of the guard over there, and on the next episode, we're gonna talk to him and say and see what is up with this place. For now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Never Winter Nights. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Uh, bye bye.